kind of found your footing in the second quarter? What changed? Um, I think our defense. I think the first quarter especially, we weren't locked in on defense. Um, kind of let them get a couple of easy looks. And um, I mean, stuff like that happens early in the state tournament, but we got locked in, especially the second half with our defense. What does a run like that in terms of just having a convincing win coming out and finishing up strong do for the outlook for the rest of the weekend? Um, yeah, it's good to get a win tonight. I mean, um, I thought we had a, a better second half. First half wasn't as good, but um, I think just need to carry that momentum, especially defensively, into tomorrow. What was the level of concern when you were behind by seven points? Anything? Um, I mean, I think we stayed composed. I mean, obviously we knew we were down, but we battled back and then got that like seven point lead or so going into halftime. So um, that was good to get that back before half and then just yeah, lock into defensively in the second half. You are now the second leading scorer in NSA history. What does that record mean to you? Um, yeah, I'm very honored um, to be amongst a lot of great players up there. I mean, um, it's super cool. And um, but just looking to end my career with some wins too. Does it have added meaning being here this weekend for you, knowing what's next after this, and just getting a chance to, to be here, going for a fourth straight ring? Yeah, really cool to play here, knowing I'll be here the next four years too. So, um, yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun playing on this court. What do you guys got to do to, to carry momentum through and, and hopefully end up with the trophy again? Um, yeah, like I said, I think defense is our biggest priority. I mean, that's what we've been focused on every year. Defense and rebounding is kind of what will get you through the state tournament and just hopefully focus on that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.